Hello. Welcome to episode 15 of uh, Snug Radio's Retro Lounge. 15. Um, so this is the first of our uh, I Have Never Played shows. And um, the I Have Never Played this week is Metroid. I've heard of it. I kind of know the story of it. But uh, have I ever played any? Not really. Not until earlier on when I was making sure all these games worked. Not only, not only have I never played it, I struggled to get hold of it as well. I thought I had all the games. All, all the games. But no. No. <clears throat> so, tonight we'll be playing the first ever uh, Metroid on the Famicom Disk System. Then we'll be playing... Uh, Metroid Fusion and we'll be playing Super Metroid so they're the three that we'll be tasting not a deep dive by any means more of a shallow paddle this show, shallow paddle all the way generally we don't deep dive anywhere uh, greetings to the chat room hello hello uh, and um, I should actually take this opportunity to thank Nutty Costa for our resubscription. That's two months on the row. If anyone can beat her, then feel free. Just go ahead. Um, right. <clears throat> I think we've done all the um, preamble we need to do. So, let me get out of this window. There and go down to that window down there and we need to shrink that Metroid a little bit don't we it's a little big so um, boo there we go right um, let's let's play Metroid or at least try um, now I should up front say there might be some Metroid people who are watching it because it's hashtag Metroided um, Oh, you're going to be frustrated. You, you're going to be frustrated. I kind of want to say, turn off now. If you've played Metroid, technically I should say, turn off now. You'll be really frustrated. But, you know, my marketing manager, Nutty Cluster, will be very cross if I told you to turn off now. So, what you could do is carry on watching and then let me know in the comments what, what I... Mm, I need to be careful how I word that, don't I? What I need to do, how I can improve my Metroid game, I think is the better way of saying it. Uh, right, anyway, let's get cracking. So on these, uh, on these, I have never played shows. I feel it's <sighs> probably going to be better. I um, spend a little more time than I ordinarily would on a game uh, so I can get a proper feel. It seems fair somehow. Uh, but it depends how frustrated I get. You know me. You know me. I'm likely to throw down my control and go, stupid game. Okay, so there we go. That's... Um, Apparently, that's uh, Japanese for Metroid, one assumes. Like I say, this was the uh, the Famicom Disk System where it first appeared. But I'm fairly certain that it's exactly the same. Did it come out first on the NES? I think it may have. Um, so I think we'll be playing exactly the same game. Uh, right, so let's get cracking. So I believe it's our runny, jumpy, shooty type game. That's my experience. Um, okay, what do we need to do here? Uh, it's, it's very Japanese, I see. Select. Select. No, select. 
Do we need to give them names? Anyone read Japanese? Isn't that cluster? Okay. I thought I should go right back to the start. If I've never played a game. Oh. Okay. You're such a genius in all the other places that I can't expect you to know Japanese. Was, you're dying soon. You're dying soon. Okay, let's continue. Start. Oh no, starting right from the start. You start. Okay, so um. Oh, apparently I don't need to start from the start. You start. I've already got my curly up. Okay. I'm just 
gonna assume anything that moves is bad for me. Please don't tell me that's a start. Oh. I haven't seen a checkpoint or anything. I don't know if don't even know if this game's got checkpoints. I don't know about you guys getting frustrated, but I could be, uh, God, I said I'd give it a fair crack. Trying to get to sort of get for trying to be clever. Yeah. <laughs> 
Okay, I feel we've been on this a good quarter of an hour, at least. I know I rambled on a bit at the start, but I'm going to leave it open. And we're going to refresh ourselves with a different one first. Maybe we'll come back to that one. Let me... Uh, let me move on to our next one. Our next one is going to be a game by Advanced released. Release. <sighs> Metroid Fusion. I've also got one called Metroid Zero Mission. Um, but as I have no experience with Metroid. Um, don't really know. What's what? Because I tried not to do any research on purpose. So that I didn't get any clues on what was to come. Okay. 
Doopy doop doo, Metroid Fusion. Okay, let's see what Metroid Fusion has to offer. Metroid 4. Is that is that is that the number of it? Or is it starting on with the story? It's quite a new one. Then. Let's start from scratch. in her face. Sounds like it's like one of the Spice Girls. Wow, there's an awful lot of story in there. You Metroid fans, is that important? Is that something that you look forward to in the games when you play them? Because it's not even like I can skip through it, I don't think. Press all the buttons. surgically removed whoa so I mean it's difficult to tell from the Famicom disk system to the Game Boy Advance that she looked different I would expect her to look different Okay, so Metroid is a thing. Oh, I'm so ignorant. See it in the comments now. You can see people thumb downing the video on YouTube because I don't know what a Metroid is. How hurt I'll be. Covid 
course is clear. Nope. I mean, yes, yeah, she looks a bit like a Santaran from Doctor Who. That's not how I remember her from Smash Brothers. So, yeah, maybe she does look different. some gameplay now. game with a map. Oh now the now the text moves faster. What? Quickly and quickly. Latent abilities. Okay. Get that Samus. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. I wonder what would happen if I'd have said no. Please, for God's sake, computer, stop talking. Okay, nope, not that way. Jumpy jump, fiery fire, no other buttons. Assume I follow the pink on the map? You know? Oh, oh yay, jumpy levels. I need to go straight on, but I can't get through there. So this is the only other way to go. This is one of those stupid things where I need should have gone backwards or something.
basically shoot stuff. And... Alright. I just assumed I had to collect them anyway. Well, thanks, computer. Where am I going now? Just, just tell me where I'm going. Right. Oh, clear as mud. Got no idea. I seem to have to get to the target. I'm gonna say yes because I don't want to repeat it. Again. Look for blinking hatches. Blinking hatches. Right. So one assumes we have to go upwards now. Or sideways or something. Blinking hatch. Saved. Look at now how I play. That's what the other one should have had. Later, we 
until I get another mission. something. That's as high as we can go. Oh, maybe if I... Nope. Alright. So, there must be something here, because I don't think there's going to be anything here, because it's, it's a lift and it's not working, is it? It's all going so easy. I was thinking to myself, do you know what? I don't dislike this game. And now, now look what it does. Um. So, I suppose I might as well get an extra. Yeah, okay. Thanks. That's what we've got. That's the save room, I don't need that. So how am I going to get out of here now? This is where I would really like a, a bigger live audience because um, there would be somebody in the live audience that would be able to say, oh no, 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 don't, don't, don't go that way, go the other way. See, it looks like there might be something. What's the room in for it? <sighs> so there's no way out of that room. And there's no way out of that room. something on there. I just don't know how to get to it now. nothing in those rooms. The only way in and out. But there does appear to be a door up there. So how to the left do I get to it now?
my, my apologies to Metroid Fusion fans. So I can't jump up there. But I only have shoes and jumpies. So, what am I not seeing? It's going to be something really easy as well, then. Something stupid. Right, it needs the solid walls. There isn't anything in here. Can't use the lift because the computer said it's bust. Is it right? Yes, yes. F off. <laughs> Don't know I'm checking these rooms again. There's no way that I can seem to get out. that I, I stream at this time of night because it's brain taxing me after a day at work and little brain can't take it. Come on Nutty Cluster, any suggestions? Oh, are we moving on to the next game? I feel we've given it a lot of time, but I also feel I'm giving up at the first hurdle. Am I ashamed of that? That's the best jump I can do. <laughs> Look, you don't want to sit here watching me struggle with a 20 year old game. Um, so we're going to. Um, going to minimize it and we're going to move back in time slightly to play um super metroid until i get stuck on that um it feels that uh metroid is possibly a tad hard yeah, do we think 
Let's hijack you a Super Metroid screen. One assumes they'll follow a similar sort of... Oh, Metroid 3. There we are, so we are going back. I should have done this one first. If we've played Metroid, or some flavour of Metroid, for more than an hour, <coughs> we've probably done our due diligence. It's not me this. It's playing itself. Probably because it knows what to do better. Is it, uh, I was going to say, is it going to play itself until I press start? Let's start totally fresh, even though that last one's got a play time of two seconds. German text, shall we play it in German? Nine. The last Metroid is in captivity. Not more story. The galaxy is at peace. With German subtitles. Oh no, unskippable story. Metroid, what are you doing to me? Nobody cares, we're going around the base shooting people. Oh, and I have to press to get rid of the German subtitles as well. Ah! Now we're getting a previously on. Previously on Metroid 2. So we committed genocide of the Metroids, apparently. Samus is a genocider. every time you turn it on. Please, Metroid fans, tell me. In the comments below, does it do this every time you turn it on? Surely it should recognise that you've played it. Okay, jump. No shooty shoot yet, just jumpy jump. Oh. Let's assume that. Whoa. 
That was a big jump. Oh, there's shoot shoot. Right. Change the buttons around on me. Shoot packs. Yep, oh, dead person. Just just dead people. It's quiet. Too quiet. Can't shoot it. Oh, what's that? Oh, hello. Ooh, ooh, shoot, 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 jump, shoot. Oh. Come back here. Keep hitting me till I die. What? Oh, poop. Not fair. Oh, it's telling me I have to jump up all of bloody shit bags. And I've got steamy stuff to stop me from getting... Oh, what? Oh. Well, my goose is cooked. Ah, uh, this is me now. So I'm just doing exactly what the other person did when they fake played it. Okay. All right. Uh, I feel like if I fall down there, I'm gonna die. No, it's another one of these bloody wells, isn't it, where you... You don't know where you're going. Always go towards the blue pole rather than the red one, I say. I've seen stranger things. Oh. Toss. So, I need to get my... Curly, curly up into a ball ability before I can do that bit. So, 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 do, do we just keep going then? Ah, 
I have a horrible feeling I'm going to have to climb up these again. Oh. Will I die if I... Nope, this is good. story and no spider Woo. oh yeah where are we going ah is this the curly up in a ball thing to shoot that. How do I get through them? Oh, hang on a minute. No. Jump. Yeah. Jump. Jump. No. Jump. Jump. No. Jump. Fire. There we go. Jump. Fire. The armadillo. It's never a good thing to find, is it? Uh, some old silvery bloke, glowing sh sphere. So you can stand on his head. Uh, what am I supposed to do here? I really don't want to fire at him. Oh, but you know I'm going to have to. Okay. Tells me to press the, mo the buttons, but mine are labelled differently. <laughs> Right, where now? Why? Oh no. But I can't shoot them, can I? Oh, I can. Okay. Ah, oh, do I have to go all the way back now? Yep, this roof.
Go all the way back. They weren't there a minute ago. climb up this thing and shoot them as well. Welcome back, Nutty Coaster. Nice to see you. I told everyone you'd probably gone to sleep. Um, because I was asking you questions and you weren't there. that if Nutty Costa wasn't in the chat room there was, there was somebody else watching who could have popped in the chat room to help me out don't be shy oh f fuck I'm right back at the bottom oh oh, oh this this would just I have never played Samus because it's fucking rock hard and it drains my will to live
well sometimes it's a spinny jump other times it's just a normal jump don't want a spinny jump just imagining some Metroid speedrunners now laughing their asses I'll be very frustrated obviously I just feel I'm going back to the start for no reason. Have I missed something? I know now. Well, it's never good. Let's save it. I can't imagine I'm gonna come back to it after that. Yeah, why not? Why not? Why not? But that means then that it was pointless. Oh, 
where the one I fell down when I was a tiny little ball. How am I going to get back up? This has got to be the way out. And yet, we can't get through there. Okay. That's up, that's down, right. Down. What missile then? Is Metroid going to let me get into a position where I can't get out? Snotty Cluster, Metroid is making me sad. Um, it's, I think it's time. Possibly. To say goodbye, Samus. See ya, Metroid. I should have said see ya, Samus, shouldn't I? Look, look, we've done more than an hour of Metroid. Tons of fans throughout the world. Don't have a bad thing to say about it. But I'm stopping playing it now. See? Easy as that. Just go. And I know I kept the other one open. Because I was optimistic then. There you go. That, that's all the Metroid that we're having today. Um, um, thank you, chat room, for uh, a suggestion. For, for the suggestion of um, Echo the Effing Dolphin. Um, but if you'd seen a previous episode, you'd know that it's rubbish. And by rubbish, I mean I can't play it. Is that what you want? What you really, really want? Look. 
sorry. But if you're alive, you'd be able to say, no, no, no dolphin. You YouTubers, come and watch it on Twitch. And uh, we could we could not play Echo the Dolphin. But you know what they're like. Echo, Echo the Dolphin, where were you just then? Well, only because it's nutty close to that asked, and she's our number one subscriber. So, we shall have a little bit of Echo the Dolphin to relax us after, after Samus. So, let me get you the relaxing window. Okay. Uh, well, I, I hope you cleaned it up after that. Uh, yes, I noticed uh, Naughty Close to saying I noticed you're not in um, uniform. Meaning the retro lounge t shirt that we're working on. Getting to you. And if, if we had a camera on her, um, Nutty Cluster would show you her blue retro lounge hoodie. Also, I don't know. Look, it's a good enough time to... Uh, you can kind of see it, but I'm just going to switch back to Big Telly. And I would like to point out one little thing. One little thing. And it's, it's here. No, let's come this way a little bit. There you go. It's here. So... Oh, so I have got a battery that disappeared somewhere, but if you'd like, if you look, look at this. This is, this is the first ever retro lounge light. Nutty Cluster saying that uh, if you're, if you're a followers on TikTok, then um, you'll be able to see the retro lounge hoodie in all its glory. Granted. It is big enough to go camping in, but that's another story. Oh, oh, <laughs> oh, there we go. Well, let's hold it to one second. Has it got a bit of a flash going on? No. Perhaps because I'm wiggling the box around. So, the retro lounge light. Pride of place. Back here. On the retro lounge shelf, shelves, um, with all things retro, you may have noticed. Um, we've got a few tiki's going on, not the whole collection because they won't fit on, but uh, tiki's are indeed retro and do belong in a retro lounge, and also in keep in keeping with our other show, Elevensies, where you know we do that sort of lounge. Easy listening music. So, um, so yeah. Uh, right, let me switch back so we can echo the dolphin. Oh, oh, the light. The light is also on TikTok. Wow. Oh, TikTok's the place to be if you want to see anything, isn't it? Isn't it just? Wow. Right, echo the bloody dolphin. Ah, oh, right. It'll stop hurting eventually. Perhaps middle of next week. <sighs> ah, okay. I am a dolphin. So, what me buttons again? None of them. Oh, that's speedy speed. I suppose then if I swim this way that last time oh. no not there where is it is it right down here oh 
Oh, that's not breaking any rocks, is it? Not breaking rocks. Flatten my nose against them, it still doesn't work. Oh, donk. Don't need to be further away. That doesn't look like that to say. I'll give you a second or two to, uh, to help me out. Right, chat room. Come on. What you wanted. Whee! Look for the glyphs. Well, that's useful. Back at this, back at this doobery down here. Right, as low as I can go. we may have got past something and now the rocks might break no the rocks are just not there attack them but not get touched by them by the looks of it. Seems like a scene from Finding Nemo. Uh, is that my water? Do I need to get out of here?
my way up is that I'm going to run out of oxygen. Oh, there we go. Terrible's happened. I put a cover dolphin on. Mmm, waffle cones. Is that me dying? Yep, that was me dying. I got out of here before. Oh, could, why could I not have done that earlier? I want to do a straight one. I want to do. Wow, this dolphin should be fucking concussed by now. There we go. Downy down. Dead end. Ooh, what was that? Big C diamond.
Find the orca and keep going left, says Naughty Custer. Well, there's the orca. As a can't even think of the word. I'm that tired. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do an Echo the Dolphin save game for you. Uh, and then we may come back to it again. And so we get off. Yes, I'll remember to tap the glyph with my nose. We got a little bit further than last time. How's that? Ah. Goodbye, Echo, for now. Um, Right, so I see the time. We, we, we've been going an hour and a half or so. So I think we'll probably just call it a night, shall we? We'll um, we'll swap over to the most important screen of the evening. Yep, that's right. It's time for the wheel. I should really get Michael McIntyre on. Uh, here we go. Here we go. So it's the wheel. It's the wheel. This, this, there it is. It's all the things. You notice it's got some new things on it. Um, we've got Moderator's Choice now, which will probably be Echo the Bleeding Dolphin, but we've got some new, new genres on there. We've got some uh, new series things on there. Uh, so let's give it a spin and see what we're playing next week on episode 16. Age Mutant Ninja Turtles. Wow. Okay. So, well, it's great timing, actually, because... Let me just switch back to the proper screen. In fact, let me switch back to the finishing screen. The end screen. Um, Yeah, there's a new Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles um, game out. This last week, I think, or maybe the week before, but just recently. We won't be playing that one. We'll be playing the old ones from the 8-bit, 16-bit, wherever I can pull uh, a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles um, from my ROMs, then we will take a bit of a look at it, I think. Yeah. Teenage Mutant yeah. You see? See? I'm looking forward to that one. I quite fancy that one. I think that might be all right. <sighs> well... That's the end of this show, of episode 15, with Metroid. I now have played Metroid. So, there we go. Um, it'd be great if you could give us a follow or a subscribe. Uh, if you're watching on YouTube, then, uh, yeah, subscribe, follow, click the bell. All the other things. I keep feeling like that song, Superman. Um, but anyway, where uh, you can email us, the, the uh, email is just below there. It's retro at snugradio.co.uk. Uh, that's also the uh, website, snugradio.co.uk, where that's mostly based around our podcast, our 18 year old podcast that we do. Um, but eventually we'll put a retro lounge link. Most of the retro lounge stuff, YouTube. If it's not on Twitch, go to YouTube. But we're also on TikTok. We have um, 
lots of ticks talking over there. Uh, that's all run by Nutty Cluster. I, too old. I can't. I don't know how that works. Yeah. Um, but we're also on Facebook and Twitter. We're um, everywhere as Snug Radio. So if you want to find us, um, then Snug Radio is the place to just look for Snug Radio wherever we look. Let me just add, add a look. Uh, chat room saying, add suggestions into the comment box. Yes. Thank you. If you have a game that you would like to see again, maybe you played um, a console all summer holidays for the six week summer holidays in the 80s and you want to see a game, odds are I can play it. So just um, comment below this video if you're watching it on YouTube or send me an email and we'll we'll have a look. Maybe we'll do a a watcher's audience memories, an audience nostalgia show with all the things that um, you may have played and things like that. Um, so that's also a thing. Also, I would like to say a big thank you to, for some reason, our Asteroids video on YouTube has gone mad, almost double any of the other ones that we watched but I would like to thank the Button Bash Brothers and Phantom Killer for commenting um, we get lots of likes but we don't often get comments so uh, thank you to them and um, go check them out on YouTube and um, yeah anything at all you want email me or drop me uh, drop me a comment on any of the social medias that we're on and that's it. That's it. I'm going now. Late. Um, I'm going to go take some painkillers. <laughs> but uh, that's it. Till next week. Uh, have a great week. I've been Matt. This has been Snug Radio's Retro Lounge. Goodbye.